and welcome. And let me introduce you to the ANSYS Electronics Desktop, and that's AEDT for short. And we're going to create a digital twin of your electronic component or your system. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the user interface of the AEDT student version. Every year, ANSYS releases a new version with new features. And this year, in the 2021 R2 version, we have a free student version. And this brings you the industry gold standard simulation tools to the learning community. AEDT is a unified multi-physics user interface for electronic simulation tools. And we can design and simulate various electronic components and devices. We can be for RF and microwave usage or even antenna applications. Also, let's begin. So let's launch AEDT. You can double click on the AEDT student version icon on the desktop or launch it from the Windows Start menu. Of course, assuming you already installed it. And you'll see the user interface screen pop up as seen here. And it consists of a main window and several smaller windows for any related tasks. And what you see is at the top of the main window is this menu bar. And it's context sensitive. It depends on the type of simulation you want to do. For example, whether you're going to do an HFSS or a Maxwell simulation, a high frequency or a low frequency simulation. And below that menu bar is a ribbon area which has more tabs. Again, changes depending on the simulation type that's selected. And each is appropriate for the selected design type and the solver. And below that ribbon tab are additional windows. Starting on the left hand side is the project manager window. And this is where you're going to see a new project or open an existing one. So let's open an HFSS example model just to illustrate this. Now once that model is open, now you'll see in that project manager window some of the simulation steps that are called out below that model design. No, you can have more than one model design in a project. So let's move on to the geometry window. And this is the largest window pane that appears in the user interface. As the name indicates, it displays your model geometry. And on the left hand side of the modeler window is this history tree. And you can see this is a creation of the history tree list of the features of the selected geometry, whether it's a solid or a surface. It defines the materials, the coordinate system. And in the model geometry window, you can also view the model geometry in any orientation. It could be 3D or 2D, and you could zoom and rotate, and many of these have shortcut hotkeys. Of course, we also have copy and paste, control C, control V, and one of my favorite is control D, that's view all. Sometimes the models get so detailed and I need to reorient myself every once in a while, so control D becomes my favorite key hotkey. And shown here is a quick list of some of the default viewing orientation shortcut keys. And below the project manager window is the properties window. And this contains more detailed properties about the item you selected, whether it's a surface or a solid again. And they are editable. And the bottom left of the screen is the messenger window. This is your friend. And it provides information to us what the solver is doing behind the scenes. This window provides you with many warnings, errors during the simulation solve process. And also on the bottom of the UI, by default, to the bottom right is the progress window. And this shows you where you are in your simulation. And at the footer of the AEDT UI is a status bar, as well as an alternate entry for coordinates during the geometry operations. That's it for the user interface. So thank you for listening to this introductory video on the basic windows inside the AEDT user interface. Go ahead, continue on to other courses at courses.ansys.com and watch our other introductory videos on the specific electronic simulation design types. 
whether it's for HFSS or for Maxwell, Q3D, or Ice Pack within the student version, as well as all of our other ANSYS simulation tools, as well as related topics. Thank you.